This morning we are going to look at Cartesian plane and geometry. Cartesian plane and coordinates. Sorry. Before now, we will look at what a number line is. I want us to revisit a number line again. What is a number line? A number line is a graph showing the direction of number. That is, you have a number line. It is a directed, it shows the directed number. From the middle to the left, you have the negative number. And from the middle to the right, you have the positive number. It showed the position of number in a number line. It's a horizontal line. Now, look at the one we have on display. Look at a number line ranging from minus 3 up to plus 6. You see C, point C, where you have the zero mark. From there to the left, you have the negative number. And from that point to the right, you have the positive number. From what we have on display, look at the position of A. The position of A is what? Minus 3. The position of D, for instance, is 2. Positive number 2. And the position of E look at e is between 4 and 5 that is approximately 4.5 in the same way look at position b is between minus 3 mm, sorry minus 2 and minus 1 then the position of number of point or position b is minus 1.5 now, having said is this, this will give us the basis to look at what a Cartesian plane and coordinate is. What is a Cartesian plane? We are going to look at these terms. A Cartesian plane is a plane surface with axis in it. Again, what is an axis? We are going to, 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 to define this point. In a Cartesian play, we have the X axis and the Y axis. The X axis run from the left to the right. It is a horizontal line. It is the line that shows the horizontal coordinate why the y axis is a vertical line that shows the vertical coordinate we call that the y axis now where the y axis and the x axis intersect we call that the origin where the y axis and the x axis intersect, we call that the origin. Now, we've been able to look at what an, an origin is, what a y axis is, and what an x axis is. Now, let us look at coordinates. What is a coordinate? A coordinate mainly are two numbers that shows the y, the position of number y and x. In writing a coordinate, we use a bracket. For instance, if we write a bracket, we write a number, we use a semicolon to separate the the x 
coordinates from the y coordinates okay look at what we have here we say a coordinates are other pair of numbers they are pair of numbers we have two type of coordinate the x coordinates and the y coordinates look at the example we have here we have a coordinate bracket two semicolon four bracket close that shows that the coordinate of x is two why that of y is four now let's move on what we have on display is called a cartesian plane look at what we have we have the vertical axis that run from vertically and we have the horizontal axis the x axis look at where they intersect where we have zero comma zero bracket close and open that is the origin it means that at that point the coordinate of x is zero while that of y is also zero look at here look at our code uh, uh, our condition plane here in the graph we we, we calibrate it we have from zero we have one two two to three up then down we have from zero minus one minus two minus three and to the right which is along the x axis we have zero one two three then to the left we have zero minus one minus two minus three now take a look at that graph very well what we have now is a cartesian play it is a graph that is showing the x and y coordinates it shows the coordinates and the point the position of number on a play surface now it take this example write down the coordinate of the point a b and c in the figure above we have just explained this the coordinate the coordinate of a you go back to that diagram again if you see where a is the coordinate is minus three and one it means that x at that point is minus three while y is one look at b the same thing the coordinate of b at point b the x coordinate is minus 1.5 why the y coordinate is minus 2.5 look at c at point c the coordinate of c x is 2 y y is 3 now let us take example we want to draw these coordinates on a graph. Those of you following me, you can replace this video after now. Take your old graph and draw the same thing. I advise you to use the Y standard graph. That is, the Y standard graph most of them actually are two centimeter graph you will see the it is square the bigger square there is two centimeter by two centimeter you can take your your graph use two centimeter to one unit it means that for every thick line you put one two three that is two centimeter you put one on both x and y axis look at our 
oak gravel. You look at the example, say, which oak near the middle of your graph. Let two systems that represent one unit on both axes. Plot this point. Point P. The point P coordinate is 4 and 3. It means that X at that point is 4, Y, Y is 3. You have Q, you have R, you have X, you have W, you have X, you have Y and Z. Now, the next question is now, find the area in unit square of the rectangle PQRX to square WXYZ. Three, triangle SXY and triangle PYZ. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Look at our graph. This is what we have. If you draw this very well, you are going to have a shape like this. Showing the coordinates. If you see the P, the point P there, you see point Q, you see point R, point X, Z, Y, X. Now, you now use a straight line to join the triangle and the right angle and the square together. Our first question, which is PQRS, use a straight line to join those points together. Then if you join it, you are going to have a beautiful right angle. And if you join the square, W, X, Y, Z. You are going to have that beautiful square. Again, you join the points. Of triangle. X, S, X, Y. And triangle P, Y, Z. You have a beautiful triangle then now let's look at it again look at the diagram very well now you are required to find the area of the right angle square triangles if you look at it discover that let's look at it in the diagram very well you discover that they are in units. Let's look at the right angle. We have five units by two units. What do we mean by that? Look at the base. Remember, the area of a, of a right angle is length times breadth. Look at the, the breadth. Discover that we have, if we take one centimeter here, two centimeters to one unit, discover that we have count. How many units you have there? We have five. And check the height, which is the length. We have two. Therefore, knowing that the area of a rectangle is net and spread, we have five times two, which will give you ten units square. Take time and look at the diagram very well. Now, let's look at the square. Again, look at the units that make up the square. You discover that both length and breadth, they are three units each. Count it. One, two, three. Now, we know that the area of a square is what? L square. Then, therefore, the area of this square is three square, which is what the word nine units square. Now, let's look at the triangle. 
first of all, we look at triangle SXY. SXY. Mind you that the area of a triangle is what? Half base times height. Now, look at that triangle very well. Look at the base. You observe that the base, we have three units that make up the base. You just count it. Why the height, we have four units. Going by this, we have one over four, one over two, which is half, times the base, which is three, times height, which is four. That will give you six units squared. Now let's look at the other triangle. Triangle PYZ. Triangle PYZ. Carefully look at it from the diagram. Now, take the base to check the height. The base here is the three. Look at it. We have three units. Then look at the height. The height is actually from, from our diagram. Look at it from minus two up to plus four. And when you count the, the unit there, when you count the unit, we are going to have six units. Then, going by our formula, half base times height, one over three times three, which is the base, times six, which is the height of the triangle. Then we have nine units square. Take a look at this diagram very well and go through it again and again. Please, now I want you to take your old graph paper and redraw this graph on your own and do the calculation and compare it with what we have here then you will see that to get the coordinate of a point is as easy as abc to find the diagram, we can have different questions that we found different shapes. And this will help you in your science. When you get to the senior school, you'll be looking at physics, your map reading in geography, and, and all that. Now, with the knowledge of Cartesian plane, you will be able to answer those without stress. Thank you for today. See you in the next class where we'll be looking at linear graph and graph of real life situation. It's a day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.